to Darfield now. The police say they can't confirm whether it was a bullet from one of their officers which killed a Canterbury man involved in a dramatic shooting in Darfield yesterday. The 56-year-old gunman was found dead in his car after he ran over a police officer, causing a serious leg in injury. Our reporter Katie Todd has been in Darfield. Police were called to the usually quiet Bangor Road late yesterday afternoon where a man had been threatening members of his family and was outside shooting at the front door. A person inside phoned 111 for help. When the police arrived, the man attempted to flee and hit a police officer as he drove off. Shots were then fired by the police. Superintendent John Price says it was a dynamic and extremely fast-moving situation. He can't confirm whether the fatal bullet came from police guns. It's early days now and this is all part of the investigation to work out who fired what and um, work that through. But what I can say is we want to establish the absolute truth. We want to take lessons learned from this to ensure that the safety of our people, our police team and the community is paramount. Superintendent Price says the officer suffered multiple fractures to his leg and is in hospital awaiting surgery. Support is being given to the family of the man who was killed. The deceased family have been offered victim support and a police family liaison officer has been supporting that family since the incident. I can say to you that the community of Darfield and rural Canterbury will be absolutely shocked by this incident, as we all are. The dead man remained in the car behind a police cordon overnight and today. Superintendent Price would not confirm the man's name, but says a post-mortem will be carried out and an investigation into his motives. What we need to be able to do is go through and do a complete profile of the, uh, the deceased, uh, what was going on for him, in the background leading up to this, uh, what were the causation factors, what were the drivers that caused him to uh, behave the way he behaved. RNZ has confirmed that students from Darfield High School are related to the 56-year-old. The school was open today with police cordons just 100 metres down the road. Darfield High School principal James Morris says guidance counsellors are working with students and staff. I think when there's uh, the, an incident in general like this involving police and guns and things like that, there is a certain amount of students feeling unsafe in general. Now, although we can reassure them that the incident is over, knowing that uh, potentially some of the uh, students that are in their year level have been affected by it as well and others in their community, that sort of adds to a certain level of anxiety. Mr Morris says the school is doing what it can to take care of everyone affected and keep them up to date with information. We're a small community and uh, it affects a, a number of students and staff and so we just want to make sure that they know that support is available and, and where we can do it, um, put in place that support. In a statement, the police minister Stuart Nash offered sympathies to the injured officer as well as the family of the dead man. Along with an internal review, the incident has been referred to the Independent Police Conduct Authority. In Darfield for Checkpoint, call Katie Todd, 10A.